purpose of this video is to show how to forward from a Blue Yonder Mail alias to a virginmedia.com address. Uh, I've already set up the two email addresses. Uh, although I'm using a virginmedia.com email address, you can actually forward to any email address you own. Um, so we've got mail.virginmedia.com for the webmail and mail.blueyonder.co.uk for my Blue Yonder settings. So we'll start with the Blue Yonder email and we'll click settings and we'll go to forwarding and pop IMAP and we'll add our forwarding address. click next and click proceed at this point click OK now if we go to our virginmedia.com address we'll find that there should be a mail sent to us two ways of verifying you can either take the confirmation code that's been given and you can then paste it in here and click verify or you can choose to click this and it will automatically verify we'll do it that way leave forwarding is disabled because we only want certain mail to go to this address now that we've done that we also want to set up Our reply address but we don't miss actually no we will want to set that up shortly we'll set up the filter first click create a new filter now the email alias that you want forwarding create a filter with this search so all messages sent to this email address will respond to this filter now so we don't want them to go to the inbox and we want them forwarded to the address we've just set up Note you can choose to delete it, but at this point in time, I would make sure the rule is working. Uh, you can always edit the filter later. Also, note that um, be the forwarding rules will only apply to new mail, they won't apply to existing mail. So, we'll create new filter. Now we can now set up the reply address. If we go to accounts, choose add another email address you own and add the blue yonder alias into the Virgin Media account. Click next step. Oops would help if I did the email right now click next step and click send verification because again you have to be on the email address in question and if we go to inbox we'll see that the confirmation has actually been sent to us Again, same thing, you can copy and paste the verification code or you can choose to 
use the link to automatically verify. As we've got the box open, we'll just copy and paste. As you can see, the forwarding rules already worked because the mail was actually sent to um, mytimothy.co the um, blue under alias but it's been come through on the Virgin Media account now when we send a reply the reply will be sent as under the same address to which the message was sent the only caveat to the is that uh, uh, Google applied a sender field which means that uh, under Outlook it will also show that the message has been sent via the Virgin Media account. And that's all there is to it really.